This is Place the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I'll be reviewing Home Alone 3. Now before I talk about this specific movie, I'm gonna tell you my opinion on the other two Home Alone movies. I think those two movies are fucking awesome. And there are some of the few movies where the slapstick is actually funny. Yeah, normally I don't like slapstick in movies. Normally they make me want a face palm. And they're not funny in the slightest. But in Home Alone and Home Alone 2, they are fucking funny. Now I went into Home Alone 3 wanting to like it. I've heard that Home Alone 3 is a bad movie. But after having seen it, I was pleasantly surprised. Now I'm gonna start by talking about the protagonist of the movie, Alex Pruitt, played by Alex D. Lenz. Now I will say one thing right off the bat. He isn't nearly as good as the kid in the first movie. That of course goes without saying. But, I'm gonna have to be honest, he is still pretty fucking awesome. Now when he notices criminals, he of course calls the cops. And the cops don't believe him, which sucks. The reason why they don't believe him is because every time they get to a building, the criminals fucking disappear. I feel sorry for that kid, I really do. He is telling the truth, but the cops don't believe him. Oh, and I must also say that he is a very smart kid. The next character that I want to talk about is his mother, Karen Pruitt, played by Harvey Land Morris. Now, I can tell that she is a very good mother. She cares about her son a lot. Now, it makes sense that she thinks that her son is just imagining those criminals. She is wrong, but it is understandable why she came to that conclusion. Overall, she is a very good mother. Now I'm going to talk about the criminals. I'm not going to name specific characters because I'm talking about all the criminals at once. Now in the first two Home Alone movies, the criminals were dumb crooks. But this movie tries something new. Instead of the criminals being dumb crooks, they are professional spies. And the fact that this movie tried something new is beyond fucking awesome. And that new thing actually fucking works. Also the fact that they are professional spies is also scary because they have a high chance of succeeding. Now then, I love this movie for the most part. But there is one problem that I have with this movie. And that's the fucking title. I know a lot of people give Home Alone 2 shit for the fact that the kid isn't actually at home. But my defense to that, he was at a hotel room. And a hotel room can be considered a temporarily home while you're at a vacation. But in Home Alone 3, there's absolutely no reason why the movie should be titled that. But I don't know why I say this, because he is barely home alone. Now he is home for most of the movie, but so is his entire fucking family. So why is this movie titled Home Alone 3? He is barely even home alone. With that being said, the title is the only major issue that I have with this movie. Now what I appreciate about this movie a lot is the fact that it's a lot different from other Home Alone movies. And the fact that the criminals are professional spies isn't the only change. Another change is the fact that the family doesn't go away on a vacation somewhere else and leave their son home alone. In fact, they come back to his home a lot in this movie. Which again makes the title of the movie misleading. But yeah, I appreciate this movie for being different. And for the most part, the different things really pay off. Because it is a fucking awesome movie for the most part. Now it's time to talk about the comedy. I gotta say, I find this movie very fucking funny. I was laughing my ass off throughout the fucking movie. And that really goes to show how great this movie is. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This movie is nearly as great as Home Alone or Home Alone 2. With that being said, this movie is still fucking awesome. And for that, I am of course going to give it the rating two thumbs up. One more thing before I end this video. This Christmas, I will be doing a spoiler movie review of the Home Alone trilogy. That's right, I will be reviewing all three Home Alone movies in the same video. In a spoiler movie review. So look out for that. These videos will be made this December. Well guys, it's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.